um, I think this city needs some industry. It needs to listen to the people who live here and find out what we, what they require and what we need. And industry is one of them. And the population of this city has dropped. Um, I think it's 10%. When I moved here in 1995, it was 85,000 and now it's 75,000. And we, we need to bring industry here so that we can keep our kids and our, our young people and young families here in the city. We need to appeal to the uh, companies. Like we lost St. Mary's paper. Like what happened with that? Why can't we use that for something else? Why couldn't we use it for another part of industry? Uh, we have Algoma Steel or, you know, SR, whatever you want to call it. It's still going to be Algoma Steel to me. Um, but we need to bring more here so that our people have here and we can provide for them here in our city instead of having to go outside of the city for you know jobs and industry and shopping or anything like that people are traveling to go shopping uh, you know traverse city birch run sudbury we're increasing their you know in industry but we're not keeping it for ourselves we need to have more you know uh choice but is it the is it the role of the mayor and council to uh, bring those uh, shopping opportunities? To we should be able to um, initiate some kind of uh, plan to help industries want to come here. And that brings jobs for the young and uh, helps families to grow. And that way Sault Ste. Marie grows. Instead of decreasing, we are increasing. It's all about increasing either the jobs, the, the technology. We can bring technology here and we have the resources. We do. 1995, 1995 I moved here and I started working for Community Living Algoma a couple of years after that because um, I had my a uh, couple of kids and so I have three kids. Um, I'm a grandmother of one. A um, couple of my kids are in high school. They're over at St. Mary's and I work for the uh, Huron Superior Catholic District School Board and I listen to the parents of these kids that I you know help and school and they're telling me the same thing that you know we need to be able to increase here to stay here and I think the people of this city need a say. So why not run for a ward seat as opposed to the mayor's seat? What's the difference between running for a ward seat and running for the mayor? To me it's nothing you're just sitting in, in, in an office or in the in the city council and you're giving your opinion this way um, I can help Bring, bring those opinions up, bring them out, and put them on the table. What is, would you say, are the top three issues facing the city right now? Jobs, industry, and I think, I'm not quite sure the third one. Um, would it be infrastructure, the roads? Uh... Well, the roads are ter terrible in this city. I mean, I just had to have my vehicle fixed again. I'm, a, I'm just a normal person and I'm willing to listen to what the needs are of the people that live in this city.